In this video, you will learn how to block access to Facebook and its subdomains using web filtering. To do this, you will create a static URL filter for Facebook.com. You will also use SSL inspection to make sure that encrypted traffic to Facebook is blocked. Go to System, Feature Select, and make sure that Web Filter is enabled. Go to Security Profiles, Web Filter, and edit the default Web Filter profile, which appears automatically. Enable URL Filter, then create a new filter. Set type to wildcard, URL to asterisk action to block, and status to enable. By using the asterisk as a wildcard character, this filter will block traffic to any site that ends in facebook.com. Go to Policy and Objects, IPv4 Policy, and create a new policy. Give the policy a name to identify its use. Set incoming interface to the internal network and set outgoing interface to the internet facing interface. Enable NAT. Under Security Profiles, enable Web Filter and select the default Web Filter profile. Enable SSL SSH inspection and select Certificate Inspection. To make sure this policy is applied to internet traffic, make sure it's located at the top of the policy list. To do this, view the policies by sequence, then click on the far left column to drag and drop any policies that need to be rearranged. Because the top policies will be used first, more specific policies should be placed above any that allow broader access. Browse to Facebook.com, which uses HTTPS by default. A 40 guard web page block message appears. This also happens if you browse to a Facebook subdomain, such as attachments.facebook.com. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, click here to subscribe. You can find a written version of this recipe at cookbook.fortinet.com.